welcome to week four of our course. Um, this is, uh, or will be in a couple of days, the, the midway point of this course. Um, what we're going to do now is begin to shift from the, uh, an investigation of multiculturalism and uh, racism, uh, one aspect of diversity, into uh, the more specific topic of, of multiculturalism in a school context and another aspect of diversity, in this case, gender. Um, so over the next couple of weeks, we'll focus on a couple of uh, actual uh, situations and uh, instances in, in contexts that affect us. So we're looking at forward to, to beginning to apply this um, to the kinds of realities that we um, uh, experience in, the, in our educational contexts. In looking over the last uh, few weeks, um, a, a couple of comments that Chandine and I discussed that we'd like to share. The uh, interview with Paul Gorski was very interesting and uh, a number of, of really good questions were posed by, by Beth and, and Jonathan and Holden. Um, so if you do get a chance, please uh, review that recording and um, uh, Gorski offers some very helpful suggestions in terms of how we can think of uh, dealing with the uh, practical realities in our schools. And, and one thing that I thought that was particularly interesting um, was the way that he addressed uh, how we can make a difference. Uh, it, it's perhaps just not a reality that we can all go out and address global issues of, of, of racism, um, but that we have particular spheres of influence and uh, one of those spheres of influence as an instructor or as a, as a counsellor or as um, an educator is um, the, the particular environments in which we work and whether it's the classroom or whether it's in, in administration. So I encourage you to, to begin to think of that as you're, as you're progressing. Another sphere of influence, and this um, is more relevant to our current context, is, is the work in this course. Uh, and uh, Luis um, Ordonez uh, put on a rather um, uh, excellent little hangout um, that addressed um, what he saw as a, a research problem in terms of uh, the, the work that, that we're involved in. And that is, how do we move from our personal understandings of multiculturalism and multicultural education to uh, more grounded uh, researched opinions that that can help us all move forward and um, well I think that that's a, a, a key point and one in in uh, reviewing some of the the discussion uh, postings over this last uh, week or so and offering feedback on uh, on those assignments Shandine and I have both considered as as one to to continue to focus on and and what we we recommend is that when you go into a, a discussion post, when you bring your, your, your perspectives and experiences to bear, that you also take the opportunity to draw upon the literature that already exists. And if that means you know, visiting the um, Mansfield Library, which is the UM library, and uh, using Academic Search Complete or, or using Google Scholar, um, look for that literature to, uh, to support your opinion. Um, to bring in that context and, and raise the level of understanding by contextualizing um, your opinions um, within the, the, the arguments and the research that's already been conducted. Um, and the other point um, uh, we'd like to share is that um, engaging in the discussion across the week, um, putting it on the, on the, the back burner of your um, mental activity while you're going about your days, um, uh, and then and popping in you know on a regular basis to to further the the discussion is something that we'd also um, like to see more of so please consider that sphere of influence as well and um, the more that we all contribute and and bring to these discussions the more that we'll will all benefit um, moving forward so you can you can see some of our uh, feedback in the if you visit the grades section and, and please let me know if you have any comments um, okay so uh, this week Multicultural Issues in Schools, a uh, couple of readings, check out the Paul uh, Gorski interview. There's a case study assignment and a very interesting video by the Southern po Poverty Law Center. Um, try to do the case study assignment first, 
and then come back to the video as it, it will it will offer a um, a different way to kind of reflect upon the situation. Um, the other point I'd uh, like to mention is, of course, that it's um, uh, Independence Day, uh, July 4th. Um, I know that many of you will be out there celebrating um, the defeat of British imperialism. Uh, I hope you have a, a, a wonderful vacation. Um, many of you might be going to the, the powwow in our Lee. For those that can't attend, I think Shandine's um, planning on capturing some video, so hopefully we can share. But um, also take time to reflect upon this period as a, 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 a cultural event, and um, it'll be interesting to, to share some different thoughts, opinions, resources on Twitter, or perhaps even a music video um, in the groove tank. So have a good week, and we'll look forward to, to reading some more of your work.